Hello YouTube, this is Bubs Comics coming at you with a quick uh, figure haul slash review. Uh, went to the Rich City Comic Con in Richmond, Kentucky this weekend. Had a big, big time. Everybody had a blast. And uh, that's what this is going to be. is going to be a quick haul on that. So I uh, got a bunch of stuff, but today I just want to go over the figures. So uh, I really didn't know what I was going to be in for at this haul. It was my first time going. It was only the second time it, it had been held. I didn't even know it existed last year. So glad to make it there this year. Brought the whole family. Uh, didn't have a, I had some budget for it, um, but I didn't have anything in particular I was after. I was just hoping for a couple of good deals. The deals were okay. Uh, but the con was really good and it was fun and there was plenty of people and it was inside of like an abandoned uh, shopping mall So it was pretty cool. Anyway, let's get right to it uh, First up you'll notice the Rocketeer. So here is the box on that one It's the Rocketeer action figure. Uh, it's a Funko. I Think they called a uh, legacy collection. So this is part of the legacy collection There's some more box art there pretty cool and there's the back of it don't know if I'm gonna keep this box art or not um, it's not bad I might put it back in the box and then hang it up I, I can't really decide what to do with them right now there's a the top Rocketeer. Uh, there's only one of these out there so um, I've seen this figure before it's the first time obviously that I have bought it so I didn't have any other copies of it my I, there's a couple of issues with it but we'll go through this one pretty quick. Um, I like it. I like the jetpack. I wish it had some like faux fire or something coming out of the jetpack because I would I wanted to put it on a stand and make him look like he was flying, but they didn't have that. Uh, the articulation doesn't have any uh, ankle pivot or anything like that. It has some motion that way. Um, and it has double jointed knees, which is nice. It has only single jointed elbows, but like all this stuff that that it has on there is very um, stiff and hard so it it limits itself in its range of motions you see they gave like his flight pants goes all the way up so there's some issues there as far as uh, range of motion go as well so because of those things it makes it kind of tough also the head doesn't go that's as far back as the head goes so you can't do a true fly pose and have his head standing up so that's an issue too, but since you don't have any jetpack uh, flames on the back anyway, he's kind of meant to be a standing figure anyway. So, so that's what he's going to be. Uh, this was the best pose. Like uh, the gun is removable, but it doesn't. He doesn't hold the gun very well, so you'd have to do some, you know, heat work on that to get it to go perfectly. So, but for now, uh, he's the only. He's. The, I think he's six inches. So he's the only like six inch Rocketeer figure that I'm aware of. Now, if you tell me that there's another one out there, uh, let me know because I'd be happy to get it. Now, I have this is what I use. I have this hanging. It's actually an ornament, Christmas ornament uh, from Hallmark. So I have this hanging in my comic room, and that's kind of my go-to Rocketeer item. So I have that hanging up all the time. So I love that. And then I also have a little Funko Dorbs Rocketeer. That I like as well. So this is the first time I've ever had a real figure. So very happy to have it. I think he looks freaking awesome. And uh, I'm going to keep him around. So very happy to have him. Uh, next up we have Audrey 2 Funko Pop. I did not have Audrey 2. So this this one I, I tried to get on pre-order. Um, the reason that I was excited to get it. So I love Little Shop of Horrors as a movie when I was a kid and actually one time had the oh oh I forgot to say that it came with a head a um, a Secor uh, uh, head Cliff Secor I think is his name uh, the name of the Rocketeer uh, pretty good head looks I like it looks very well detailed I think the only issue that I had with it is that the in the original box it came with this head on it so if you were going to keep it in the original box, who wants the Cliff Secor head on there? Like, that's just silly. I would think they'd put the Rocketeer head on there and then have the Cliff Secor as an additional head on the side. But it came with the Secor head attached. So you're going to take it out of the box if you ever want to see the, the Rocketeer the way we all prefer. Anyway, uh, back to Audrey 2. Little Shop of Horrors, one of my uh, favorite movies when I was younger. Rick Moranis, um, Bill Murray... Uh, um, Steve um, 
whatever his name is. Uh, great stuff. <laughs> Steve Martin. Uh, great, great movie. Funny. It's kind of a, it's a musical. Um, it's been a long time now, but at one time I was actually in a stage production of Little Shop of Horrors uh, at a local theater, and I played um, Seymour, uh, and I got the lead in in the in the thing. And it was, it was a musical, so I enjoyed the songs. And anyway, that's a whole other story that I'll probably never tell on YouTube. So, <laughs> but other than that, I've always loved the movie and always loved the musical, um, uh, Mankin musical, great stuff. And so here's Audrey out of the box. I couldn't help it. I had to take it out. So look at that. Feed me, Seymour. Of course, that wasn't my character, but look at that. The detail on this thing is phenomenal, and it's super heavy. Um, just, just absolutely fantastic. And look at the tongue on there. You can really see the detail. It's just great. Now, there's a couple of chase figures on this one. I think one has uh, the dentist's arm hanging out, and one has some blood on it. I really don't care for either of those. I think they look very cheaply done and cheesy. Uh, so I really like this one. I think he looks awesome, or she. <laughs> it's Audrey too. Here's some box art. I picked this up uh, for, actually, there was a cover price. Uh, there was a pre-order price of like $15 from Books A Million. But this one I got at the con because I was negligent in my pre-orders and I didn't end up getting it. So very happy to have that now. Uh, super, super excited. So anyway, uh, and then we just got a few more coming up. Uh, this one is a, actually just one more and then I'll split the other into another one. So there is Audrey. And next we have one I was really excited when it came out, the Marvel 80 Years uh, Wolverine, the Hulk 181 edition. Now, one of the nice things about buying them at the con was that they came in these hard plastic stuff. And uh, so I was very happy to get that. And this one I'm actually going to leave just the way it is. I'm not taking it out of the plastic case. I'm not taking it out of its own thing. I think it's super cool. I love the detail on it. I like how they put a reflective back in there so it really shines off the light in the back. And he just looks badass. My favorite Wolverine pop by a long shot. And I've got a few. And I love them all. But this one just blows them the others out of the water. Super cool. My wife got this for me from the con. Some foil on there. And it says Hulk 181. First appearance, Incredible Hulk 181. Which is funny because we all know Marvel dates. Uh, says the first appearance of, Hulk, of Wolverine is actually Hulk 180. So, and they even separated the claws, which is really nice. I mean, just, just great stuff. Absolutely amazing work. And, you know, like any of the Funkos, sometimes I like to buy them online and pre-order them or something. But with, with a lot of them, I prefer to buy them in person because there can be little paint defects and things of that nature. And you really want to see them in person. So I don't tend to buy much uh, Funko stuff online. I like to buy it in person. In fact, I don't think I've ever bought a Funko Pop for myself online. So now I've got a few as gifts that were purchased online, not had any problem with them. But I know when I'm in person, I see some have a little scratch or a little scuff. Some of the paint's just not right. So anyway, that's what I've got for you right now. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. Let me know in the comment section if you like videos like this. Um, I don't do a lot of figure reviews. I know that I'm not that detailed. Like I didn't, you know, bend this guy's all his joints. And the reason I didn't was because it took forever because he was so stiff and so difficult to pose. It took forever to get a pose that I liked. So <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Uh, but other than that, you know, hope you all enjoyed that. And we'll catch you next time on Bub's Comics for some comics. And also another uh, awesome figure haul. I mean, this, it was a huge find, uh, and actually exactly what I was hoping to find there. And I actually found it. So that'll be on the next one. So until then, we'll catch you next time on Bub's comics. Uh, read a comic, uh, open a figure, leave one in the box, buy pops, and, uh, above all, don't apologize for the glare. All right. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.